Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining me one more time in Seely's Kitchen. Now, today I'll be making a meatless lasagna, and it's gonna be delicious. I've made it before, and I'm adding some more ingredients, so I'm twisting it up. So, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And to all my viewers out there, thanks for liking the videos and sharing them with your friends. So stay tuned for this great lasagna today. Okay guys, so I'm going to cook my meatless ground and I'm starting out with some grapeseed oil. So I'm putting some grapeseed oil in my pan and I'm gonna be adding... Okay guys, so I'm gonna be adding some chopped peppers and white onions and I'm sauteing this in the grapeseed oil so let me turn this pan on because there's a lot of smoke in here okay so I'm sauteing this and while I'm sauteing that I'm gonna add some scallions some green onions and also some rosemary and this came from my indoor garden some dried rosemary so I picked it and then I put it in the Sun to get dry so I am just sauteing this a little bit you know and then of course you know I'm gonna be adding my meatless grounds, it's soy free, it's non-GMO, and it's an excellent source of protein. So I'm slowly adding this in the mix. So who said we can make lasagna without red meat? Yes, we can. So while I'm stirring this in, I'm gonna add my dried um, seasoning. So I'm going to start out with um, some adobo. And then I'm going to add some paprika. And I'm going to stir this in a little bit. So while it's getting all dried out, I'm going to add some water from my kettle because I don't want it too dry yet. So I'm going to leave this to simmer a little bit and then I'm going to gradually add the other spices. So guys, I'm going to be crushing some garlic because this thing is not going to be good without fresh organic garlic. So I'm using my garlic masher to press the garlic. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add some garlic. I scoop the rest from my cutting board. So I'm adding garlic and mushrooms. So these are baby bella mushrooms that I'm adding to this mix. baby bella mushrooms and I'm gonna cover it you know and let it simmer for a little bit and then I'm gonna add the other spices after so while the mushroom and the other you know seasonings are marinating in this I'm gonna cover it for a few minutes while I prepare some other things for the lasagna okay guys so I'm gonna be adding some all-purpose grace seasoning you know, just for added flavor. And then I'm gonna add Mrs. Dash tomato base of garlic again. And then I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna mix this bad boy together. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't this looking good, guys? Very colorful. It smells good, too. It smells good, too. And finally, I'm going to add some thyme. Some thyme leaves. So I'm taking the leaves off the stem because I don't want the stem in this mix. So I'm just removing the leaves just to add the right flavor that I'm looking for. Oops, I'm standing there. All right. Finally, I'm gonna add some Jamaican Scotch bonnet peppers. This thing would not be good without a taste of Jamaica in it. So I just added some scotch bonnet pepper, some green ones and some red ones. So I'm gonna spice up the thing. All right? So right now, this is cooked. So now I'm gonna add a little sugar-free Polynesian dipping sauce to my meatless ground. So this is about three tablespoons full, judging by what I just put in the pot. And this makes this taste really, really good. All right. So guys, this meat less ground is ready to be layered in my pan for baking. So guys, I'm using a roasted garlic um, sauce for my lasagna and this is the Newman's own brand and it's very, very delicious. And this is made with a 100% virgin, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna be cooking this for a few minutes because I like to cook my sauce before, you know, I put it in my lasagna and I like to spice it up too because to me it has a blah taste and you know we Caribbean people we like you know things with flavor and taste so the only thing that I'm gonna be adding to this right now is just some grace all-purpose seasoning because this has everything so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to it and I'm gonna stir it so guys my sauce is bubbling away so I cooked it a little bit before I put it in my pan so I'm gonna turn off my stove so guys I'm gonna be using um, a Del Monte whole um, kernel corn a whole can because this will be a part of the vegetables that I will be putting in the lasagna, so I'm just opening the can right now. Okay guys, so I'm using some Jamaican cheese. It has thyme all over it, but that's okay because it was on the same board with the thyme and the other seasonings. So I'm grating some Jamaican cheese too because I'm gonna be putting that in my lasagna as one of the cheeses. I'll be using four different cheese. Okay guys, so I'm putting some butter on the bottom of my Pyrex dish because I'll be using two small Pyrex dish to bake the lasagnas in. So I'm starting out with some garlic butter on the bottom. So this will melt even though, you know, I'm putting it in chunks. So I'm going to start by putting my lasagna and I 
have to cut this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna put another one. And then I'm gonna cut it right here. Oops. So I'm gonna start out with my meatless ground as my first, as my second layer rather. It's my second layer. So thanks for Hobby who is helping me in the kitchen today. Oops, that's fine. So that's my second layer. And then I'm gonna add some cheese. So I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. And this is not the regular mozzarella cheese. This is um, plant-based, it's dairy-free, and it's the mozzarella um, style shreds by Soul Delicious. So I'm gonna sprinkle a few pieces of this on my meatless ground and then my next layer is going to be the corn so I'm gonna put some corn little one drop right here I think I could put it in <laughs> so I'm gonna put some corn then I'm gonna put some spinach And this is frozen spinach, guys. It's, well, it's actually fresh spinach that I bought. But what I did, I put it in Ziploc bags and I freeze them because it was a lot. You know, if you keep it in the bottom of the fridge, it will get spoiled. So I bag them and freeze them. So it's actually frozen. So I'm gonna put another layer of um, lasagna. I could just tear this because it still works. Oops. So I'm gonna put another one. And then this time, I'm gonna use my Mexican style shreds. And I'm gonna sprinkle this all over this one. And then now I'm gonna add my sauce over this. sauce all over this and then I'm going to spread this out Add some more sauce isn't that looking good guys okay guys so I'm adding the last layer off my lasagna on top and this is gonna be so 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 delicious it's gonna be so 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 delicious and by the way guys I didn't even tell you let me clean up a little bit here a little bit so I didn't even tell you um, the type of lasagna noodle that I bought I bought whole grain you know it's a little bit more on the healthy side so I don't consume too much carbs alrighty so this is looking good so far so now I'm gonna add my last layer of sauce and cheese Tuck 
this bad boy down. <laughs> So now I have a little bit of cashew cheese alternative mozzarella style shreds. I saved this for last so I could put it on top. So I'm sprinkling this on top so this is finished. I have to go back to the supermarket. And then I'm gonna add some cheddar shreds and this is also dairy free and this is also vegan so I'm adding this on top Two. so I have to spread this out with my little knife So I didn't make a lot guys because you know it's just hobby and I and we don't eat a lot so and then I'm gonna add some mozzarella shreds to top this off. And to decorate, I'm gonna add some little pieces of my spinach, you know, a little presentation purposes at the top. Cool. So I'm gonna add my meatless ground next. Spread this out. And then I'm going to add the last layer, but before I do that, I'm going to put some more spinach. And then I'm gonna put some Jamaican cheese. Sorry. And then I'm gonna add some mozzarella style shreds. Let me take this off. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna add my last layer of the lasagna noodle. So, guys, I'm putting my lasagna in the oven. My oven is 350 degrees, so I'm going to leave that for the next 45 minutes. So guys, here is my lasagna, and I'm telling you, it is so, so, so delicious. So if you like what I cook today, just like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you guys have a great weekend.